Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Today we're going to be creating these charming farmhouse style bunnies. In this design, I will show you how to take foam board from the Dollar Tree and some cardstock paper and create these wonderful little accents for our spring decor. Now let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the foam board and in this technique I'm just going to draw out the shape of a bunny using just straight lines and some angles. And using this technique it makes uh, creating our little figures a lot simpler. And you can see here how I just did the straight lines up top for the ears and then basically just kind of like a diamond shape for the head and you can make your bunny any size that you would like I just decided to do this one I'd say he's probably about two and a half feet and the other one just a couple feet tall Now what you want to do after you get your bunnies sketched in with the straight lines, you can see I'm just kind of taking and just curving it around in the areas that I want to shape a more realistic type of bunny. This is just a really simple technique to use when you just want to get the basic outline of something. Now I'm going to go ahead here and just cut out the bunny with uh, my utility knife. And you could probably use some scissors on this, but you may need this little knife to get into the corners. Now after you get your bunnies cut out, you're going to take your cardstock paper and what I'm gonna do is just draw some lines down through here and I'm not gonna make these the same size because when we place them onto the foam board we're gonna layer them on top of each other because this is gonna start making our wood look for the top of our bunny. And you will want to use the cardstock paper for this. Typing paper is just a little bit too thin, but the cardstock has just enough of the heaviness that it will place down and without ripping or tearing. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking and putting some little sharp lines down into the paper and hoping that that will show up as we apply the wax. And you can see I'm just gluing these down. Now as you're gluing these down, you'll want to take maybe a wide strip and then a narrow strip and you can layer them over top of each other. And you just want to kind of mix it up because this is what is going to give that look of wood after we apply our brown wax. And as you're placing these, you can see that I'm just going right over the ear. I'm not worrying about trying to line it up with the curves because you want everything to come straight up because you're trying to make it look like your bunny was actually cut out of a piece of wood. Now 
Now you want to go ahead and just flatten all the layers of the paper down one more time just to make sure all the glue underneath spreads out evenly. And if a few of the little ends are sticking up, that will be just fine because we are going to apply a layer of the Mod Podge after we apply our brown wax. Now I decided on my bunny that I was going to do a darker color and you'll see as I'm just really lightly applying this in the beginning, you could leave yours like that if you'd like. But I decided for my style in my home, I wanted to go ahead and just have the darker tone. You can see I trimmed off all the edges there. And this wax is a really fun thing to work with, as you can see, because you can smear it out with your fingers and it will just go down in all the little creases of the paper and it actually starts to look like wood. Now I am using a wet paper towel to kind of wipe over this because I just want to remove a little bit of the uh, wax in certain areas. Now we're going to just do the same thing to our small little bunny, glue on all of our papers, and you can see on this one how I have really layered them unevenly on top of each other. I hope you're enjoying this technique. It was a really fun one to create, and I hope you'll get to design some of your own little uh, wood bunnies. Now we're going to Go ahead and apply our layer of Mod Podge on top of this to seal everything off. And you may want to let this dry at least an hour or so before you start decorating. Now I decided to just use some of this wrapping paper from Dollar Tree and I kind of just roughly put it on the back. I just wanted to cover up kind of the messiness of the paint. But you could really take some time with this and you could apply some more ribbons and things to the back of this and you could turn it around and use either side if you would like. But for mine, I am going to just use the wood side for my decor because I'm going to actually, instead of using the picture frame to make these stand up, I'm going to go ahead and repurpose some of these little wood blocks that I have and a few of my paint sticks. And I'm actually going to uh, place mine on top of my uh, fireplace mantle. And I did just use Mod Podge to apply the paper to the back. Now you can see here I'm repurposing my little wood blocks and I am going to use a little E6000 glue with my hot glue to make sure that my little wood blocks stay attached. And I put this paint sticks up through the back just for that extra support. Now I will tell you I didn't show this, but I did end up adding an extra block to the back of both of the bunnies just so they would kind of lean back just a little bit.
And there we go. Now we've got our bunny standing up. Now I'm going to add some of my rope twine around the outside edges of both bunnies just to finish it off and I just like that look. Now I'm going to take some of the uh, Excelsior grass and I'm going to apply that down at the bottom. And if you saw me get the lighter out and burn around the edges, I was just burning off a few of those little raw edge strings on the rope twine. Now here is the little twine balls that I am repurposing from our Christmas decorations and I did cut it in half and I'm just going to use that as like a little basket down at the bottom. Now I'm not going to uh, glue in any of my flowers or grass because I thought how fun would these be to decorate for the fall and even the Christmas season. And you can see here, I just decided to add a few of the little white flowers. This is some, uh, just some cream colored string that I had. And I'm just repurposing this. I'm not sure where I had purchased this at, but I'm sure you can find this at the hardware stores. And you can decorate your little bunnies however you would like. This is just the style that I decided to do for my home. And don't you just love the way that paper looks like wood? Now for my other bunny, I'm going to add uh, some more of the grass around the bottom and another little basket, but I'm just going to pop a few of the little carrots in there. Well, there you go, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of the Farmhouse Bunnies. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you do so. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed. And I will see you next time.